Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Mia Mac And I'm back with another motherfucking video Today I will be doing an install with this synthetic wig Okay, I was at the beauty supply One thing about it, when I go to the beauty supply Is it just me or is it y'all too? When I go to the beauty supply store I be going in there spending way more than what the fuck I came in there for Okay, I could go on that bitch for a goddamn a dollar rat tooth comb just to part my head the right way and spend and leave spending $113 in that bitch every fucking time but anyways for this beauty supply run I was running to get some hair stuff and I ran stumbled across this wig that was $39.99 and I'm like hmm this is, this is a nice little wig for it to be $39.99 okay it is synthetic but however it's high premium mix meaning that I think meaning it has a human hair and a synthetic blend however it felt really really fucking good and yeah, I'm like, let me let me buy this bitch and experiment with it. So that's what you see me doing here. I bought it. I'm now installing it. I installed it using um Eben spray instead of using um like Gots to be or Bold Hold. I didn't want nothing super super strong. I didn't know how long I was gonna keep it up for. So I decided to um use the spray glue can. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot what the fuck I was listening to, but yeah um yeah this is me laying it down and then clipping it up so i can put my bed on now if you guys be on tiktok y'all should know who the fuck e-cane is and y'all should know how motherfucking slow leave your band on for an hour i advocate for that meanwhile this is me while i wait for my band As my band, well, my lace under it finishes drying with the band, I spark me up a roach while watching um, Jocelyn's Cabaret. I did not record how my hair looked it afterwards, so continue watching my vlog. This is me pulling up to the nail salon to get these feet did, honey bun. This salon is called Zoo Nails in Houston, Texas. I done pulled up to the nail shop and shit. Ta-da. I done pulled up to the nail shop and shit. Hold on, wait. Y'all, I done pulled up to the nail shop and shit. I'm looking for it. Why the fuck is up there? See where it says Zoo Nails? It's right there. But I don't see how the fuck you get up there. Like, do y'all see any stairs? Like, how am I supposed to get up there? I don't know how to get up there. One minute, 37 seconds later. I think I found out how to get up there. This is me after I finally found where the stairs and elevator was. Of course, I picked the elevator. <laughs> now I'm on my way to the second floor. This is me, a little quick fit. Clap that ass, clap that ass. And now I'm walking to the salon. Went past a lot of stores, okay? Looking at that fat ass in the reflection. I end up walking past in that salon. There we go. I walk in and all the ladies started greeting me. Even though it was only like two workers there and one other girl getting her nails done. They were so nice. The shop was so clean and pretty and nicely aesthetic. I came in asking, do you guys do pedicure and eyebrows? She was like, nah, we don't do no eyebrow, but you can get your feet done. And I was like, okay, well, that's cool. Meanwhile, I'm looking through the menu, seeing what kind of fucking pedicure I want, spa pedicure. Inside the manual, it tell you, you know, the different options, you know, for your feet and spa vibes and shit like that of course i'm getting gel um a gel pedicure but i also wanted one of those spa treatments okay i want i want my skin to be looking good on my motherfucking feet after y'all do my feet mm -hmm. so they start putting this powder i forgot the name of that powder but it's real good for the skin mm -hmm. yeah, i'm gonna get the name of that i'm gonna have to get some of that for myself mm -hmm. so they passed me this color nail palette knowing damn well i'm gonna get white on my feet i just wanted to look through it <laughs> Yeah, knowing I'm finna get um white, all white on the toes, okay? Ten white toes on my Louis flip flop spirit. This is me sitting there looking like the baddest bitch up in the shop, cause I am. Fuck, why she do my toes? 
doing them, taking her time. Yes, ma'am. She was all up in there, too, really scrubbing the shit out of my motherfucking feet. I appreciate the effort, though, but when she gets to that middle heel, honey, I be in that bitch. <laughs> like my name, motherfucking Michael Jackson, okay? That motherfucking shot was empty as hell, but that's just how I like it, okay? While she did my feet, I started applying on these press ones. Yes, yeah, so fire, honey. The white French tip with the heart pattern design on the corner i got them from sheen and i was applying them as she did my feet okay guys hey period stop looking at yourself look at the camera okay so we made it back to the motherfucking room look at my press lines isn't that cute i'm thinking it matched my feet mm -hmm. but yeah so I'm back at the room. I'm back at the room because I was slightly supposed to come back and get my margarita because I left my motherfucking margarita in the refrigerator. And that would have definitely set the vibes in the nail shop because it was only me and another girl in them. That would have been a vibe. It was still a vibe. But okay, so I left my margaritas. Yes. Plural, too. In the motherfucking uh, mini fridge over there. And then I end up running into the weed man. As I'm like getting out the motherfucking black truck, I um, ran into the little weed man in the um, building. One thing about it, I'm always find me a weed man. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. And I'm running into him after I was already calling him and, you know, made that, you know, communication and shit. So, boom, went in the lobby, got me another key, came back up. He served me. Da -da -da -da. I think he gave me a little extra, too. Pretty privilege. Period. What's she saying? Uh -huh, pretty privilege. Wait. Never working nine to five. I got pretty privilege. No, period. Okay, so yeah, I'm just probably gonna sit big, relax, smoke and shit. I want y'all to look at my outfit real quick. But yeah, I want to fix my hair. Too. But I need to fix my little edges and shit and lift it up and shit. But yeah, you know, I'm just gonna chill, sit back real quick, think about where else I'm gonna go, and you know what I'm saying? Really try to plan my day out because I don't wanna spend too much money while I'm out and about. I'm already spending money with this Uber shit going back and forth and shit. So yeah, I'm gonna do all that, writing my little notebook, you know, watch a little Jocelyn Cattle play real quick, and then we back out in the next hour. Gang. A little longer than a few minutes later. Y'all, I just stopped at the level crossing. Y'all, I just stopped at Train Mall in Houston to give me a quick purse to go with what I had on. If you know, you know. If you're in Houston, then you know, you know. Okay, y'all, so I had to stop at Train Mall to give me something cute, a little quick purse on to match the outfit. Y'all think it match? Yeah, it'll. Okay, who that is plug in that Mazi? That Mazi But yeah, I have to give me a quick little purse because that um, big ass purse one's gonna do it, honey. That one's gonna do it. But yeah, we gone. Okay, y'all, so me and one of the guys then pulled up to um, Applebee's. Y'all know they got them dollar margaritas on Wednesday, so we pulled up to that house. Okay, y'all see, y'all see the feet, period. Mm -hmm. We put up to that hoe. They had a nice ass scenery. When we first went in, bitch, they was talking about a two hour wait, honey. And I was hungry as shit. So we went in, signed in anyway. Went outside. I was looking at the view and shit. They had a bunch of restaurants like connected in the area. Such a beautiful view. Such a nice vibe to sit out and eat in. But who the fuck was finna wait them two motherfucking hours, bitch? We end up um getting getting some um liquor. Getting some motherfucking um food from um subway we rolled up got high you know the vibes got high before we put up to applebee's but got high again after we was debating mm -hmm. how we wasn't finna wait up in that motherfucker so now we up in subway with it getting a little sandwich you, you know the vibes you know the vibes you know the vibes you know the vibes, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. That's me decorating my motherfucking sandwich, putting all the types of shit that I like on that hub. Mm -hmm. The little sandwich that I be getting is the um, chicken bacon ranch sandwich. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you shop at um, motherfucking Subway, you got to have a motherfucking custom menu. That's the homie, Jay from Bissonette. Um, bro, cool as hell. Cool, cool people. I didn't know who that was, okay? I did not know who that was. I did not try to record his ass. And shit like that. My high ass just swinging the motherfucking phone camera all through that bitch. 
But yeah, we was getting that motherfucker sandwich. His sandwich was looking good as hell. I'm like, ooh, your sandwich look good as hell. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I forgot what type of sandwich he had. But yeah, that's me finished decorating my sandwiches, telling them hoes what to put on there, how much to put, what to put, don't put too much of that, put extra of that. <laughs> you know how that shit go, period. Let me get two tomatoes. Y'all, tell me why this lady farted while she's making my food and try to act like she ain't for it. Like, girl, um, I heard it. Like, you know what? Subway, they be playing music. I'm talking loud as fuck in that whole. Jay from this and that in that whole loud. You see how I'm tapping on the glass. You could just tell I'm loud in that whole. And we still heard it. Everybody else act like they ain't heard it, but I heard it. And she looked at me. I could tell she did it because she looked right at me. All right, bitch, bitch, go ahead now. As long as you don't um, sweep the wind with your motherfucking hands as you making my sandwich, we good. Okay? I I know the vibes, okay? We we human, we poo. Okay? Just continue making my sandwich, bitch. Don't make no extra movement and put that nasty ass booty wind on my sandwich that we're going to get into it. Pure. Okay. But yeah, I'm just telling her how to finish making my motherfucking shit, bitch, because I like my shit a certain way. I see all them banana peppers on there. <laughs> all them damn banana peppers. Yeah, that's just how I like it, bitch. And definitely add some extra yeah, sweet like onion sauce because I love that sweet onion sauce. Yes, mm. the extra, yes. Seasoning, yes. Oil, vinegar, yes. Yes. Mm. I think I'm finna go give me some Subway right now looking at this shit. Uh, mm -hmm. Put the um, seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. That oregano too, yeah, with that oil and vinegar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I want to die okay guys this pretty much concludes this vlog today i hope you guys liked it i'm gonna do better with the you know wig install tutorials and shit like that but i think the wig came out pretty cute okay i didn't keep it in too long because you know it is something but it came out pretty pretty cute okay make sure you guys like this video comment below because i love to talk to you guys um this is just me talking shit i ain't talking about shit with a diet coat be like i'm on a diet Cause they had a little diet coke That diet coke don't subtract that 12 piece wing Girl anyways Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe Hit that bell notification So you can see when I post And I'll see you guys in the next video